Hey everyone, how's it going? So today's video obviously will be the continuation of my uh, incoming freshman advice series. I didn't get to film this last part in the same day as the others, so that's why I'm wearing something different and things like that. So this video is going to be all about your social life at college or university. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first main thing that kind of comes to mind when you think of a social life is friends. So once again, I'm just going to talk a little bit about making friends uh, at college or university. So the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that you always make small talk. If you're standing in line um, at the meal hall or you're waiting to go into a class or you know, you're standing in line to get your books at the bookstore or something like that, make some small talk get to know some people, find out some names, uh, figure out what people, what faculty they're in, are they in arts, are they in science, are they in business, kind of see what people are doing and kind of um, make your friends based on that. So the first tip is just to make small talk, talk to everybody. It's not like high school, there's not really cliques in college or university. Everybody uh, does become friends uh, with a lot of people and they don't necessarily have to be exactly like them. Um, a lot of people that have many different interests um, tend to be really great friends. So definitely the first tip is to make small talk with all the people uh, that you meet. So the next thing is your orientation. So you are a, an incoming freshman, uh, you're going to have an orientation week <clears throat> where um, all the first year students get together and they do activities, um, they tour the campus, they get to ask all these questions and find out where their classes are and things like that. So definitely take advantage of your orientation uh, and make sure that you go to all these events because most likely you are going to make a lot of friends there. A lot of the times they have different teams uh, for people to be on so you become friends with your teammates uh, and then it just goes from there. They know people, you know some more people, you all get together. Uh, and you have some instant friends there. So definitely make sure that you attend your orientation week activities. So another thing is the meal hall. So if you're living in the dorms, you most likely will have uh, a meal plan. So you're going to be going down to uh, the cafeteria or the meal hall, whatever you call it there at your school, uh, and you will be eating your breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. So uh, another way to make friends is to, you know, sit with some different people. Uh, at the meal hall. So at first you're probably not going to know some people, you might know a few people, uh, so go sit with them, uh, but then invite other people to come sit with you, or maybe you and a friend uh, go sit at a table with with a few other people that you've never met before, and just kind of make small talk with them, um, and just go from there. So definitely while you're having uh, your your meals is definitely a great time to make some friends as well. So the next big thing to meet new friends is talk to the people that are in class with you. So if these people are in your classes, they're interested in the same things, they're, uh, they have the same subjects most likely, outside of that class as well. So uh, definitely talking to the people in your class is really beneficial. So just making small talk with the people beside you so maybe you know make a make a joke about something or you know introduce yourself to the person beside you uh, maybe ask them uh, a question see if they can answer it just to kind of get the conversation going uh, and you will eventually you know uh, make friends that way because you probably will sit in the same seat most of the time uh, and they will tend to sit in the same seat as well. So every class, you know, you have a buddy there that you can talk to. And then that might evolve into um, having study groups with that person um, or, you know, having a study session or helping each other uh, prepare for exams and things like that. And that can turn into a, fr a friendship as well. So definitely um, make some small talk and talk to the people that are in your classes. So this last part doesn't really pertain to everyone, uh, but if you have some type of lab or tutorial classes where you go, like you're in a laboratory, either like a biology or chemistry lab, uh, or like a physics tutorial or something like that, um, definitely talking to the people in there as well will also uh, make you a few friends. So you're going to be in those labs probably once, uh, sometimes even twice a week. So you want to kind of get to know the people there and uh, make some relationships in there as well. 
So when you also think of social life in college or university, the first thing that probably comes to mind is the parties. So uh, I don't have a lot to say about the parties, um, but they are a good way to meet new people and make new friends. So definitely, um, you know, going to, uh, in your dorm um, building, going to different parties, going to room to room, you know, meeting new people, um, hanging out with them, that's obviously a really uh, beneficial thing. You really do want to um, make as, friend as many friends as you can. Um, and you also want to be involved, and you want people to see that you're involved in the kind of the community, and then they'll want to uh, be friends with you as well. So definitely parties are great for um, trying to meet new people and make new friends. Um, also, they're a great thing to, you know, at the end of the week to just kind of unwind. You've been busy, you've been doing all your schoolwork, you just want to uh, relax and have uh, fun with some friends. So that's also another uh, great thing about parties as well. Uh, there can be some downsides uh, to parties as well, um, but I'm not going to touch on that um, in this video. Um, but if you are going to um, be going to parties and you're going to be uh, consuming alcohol, uh, just make sure that you are safe and your friends are safe. Uh, and that's basically all I wanted to say about that. So another part of your social life at college or university is different events that go uh, on around your campus. So there was a lot of events uh, at my campus uh, that I uh, took part in, and they were really fun. Um, I got to meet a lot new pe uh, a lot new friends there, and they were just really fun overall. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, different events and things like that. So the first big thing um, with events. Uh, are sporting events. So if your school has a football team or a soccer team or uh, a hockey team, uh, if you uh, are in Canada, you know, a lot of the states have hockey teams as well, but mostly in Canada, um, and uh, maybe like a rugby team or a lacrosse team, uh, definitely take in those sporting events. Um, a lot of people um, go and watch those. They, it's a big thing for your school. You know, you, you really want to show support for your school teams. Um, and you want to fill the stands and things like that. So definitely take in sporting events. That's uh, a great part uh, of the social life of uh, college or university if you're into that. Um, I'm not a big sports fan, but I did go to a couple games uh, and they were really fun to watch and just sit there with your friends uh, and support your school. So definitely sporting events are a fun uh, pastime uh, thing to do um, kind of to incorporate into your social life. So there's also different events that your school puts on. Um, I know for my first year we had uh, a hypnotist come in uh, and we had, um, it was for just the first years, but then we also had another one uh, later on that was for everybody. Um, but uh, the hypnotist came in, it was an X-rated hypnotist, which was hilarious. Um, and we all sat in like a huge auditorium kind of room thing. Um, and um, and he picked people out of the crowd, and uh, it was just, it was a really fun time. So definitely take in things like that as well that your school puts on. And there is also uh, your campus pub or bar if you have one. Um, our school had uh, a campus pub. And um, so obviously if you're not of age uh, in your country, so uh, for in Canada uh, the uh, legal age is 19 uh, to... Um, drink alcohol um, and the uh, the legal age in the states I believe is 21 so depending where you are this kind of um, um, can differ uh, at your school so a lot of um, second third and fourth years obviously are over 19 so they can uh, partake in all the the pub activities um, me, right now, I'm only 18, and I don't turn 19 until next January, so uh, in my second semester at university, I'll be 19 uh, in my second year. So, um, obviously, um, so you can't go to, like, the, the over 19 events, or over 21 events at your campus pub or whatever, uh, but uh, they also put on... Um, dry events for people that are underage as well. So uh, they just mark X's on your hands or they give you a bracelet 
and um, it allows you to get into events there as well. Uh, and not a, lo a lot of people think that, uh, especially first years, if you are um, not of age to get into there, that you can't even go into the campus pub or things like that. Um, a lot of people at my school kind of had that uh, mentality. Um, actually went um, with friends a lot uh, because they served food there. So if we got tired of uh, the meal hall food, we just go down to our campus pub and we'd get food there. Um, so obviously we had to be out before 8 o'clock because that's when uh, they kind of like started um, checking IDs and bringing people in uh, for like the the drinks and everything. But uh, before 8 o'clock it's open to everyone. So definitely check out your campus pub uh, and sometimes they have like half price nights um, and trivia and things like that. So definitely uh, take in those things as well. So that's basically all I wanted to say uh, about social life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and maybe I'll do like a follow-up video just uh, kind of uh, incorporating all your questions that you might have uh, throughout all the videos. Um, but if not, that's fine as well. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll leave uh, links in the description to all the previous videos if you haven't checked those out. Um, and there will also be annotations um, uh, on the end of this video and links to um, all of my uh, networks like my uh, Twitter and my Instagram and my Pinterest and my website and all that. So uh, definitely go ahead and check that out. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.